Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and this week we're talking about bar mitts. Getting motivated to ride in the cold is especially hard if you don't have the right gear. With winter rolling in, these are an absolute must if you're like me and you like riding outside all year round. They're designed well, they're easy to install, and they work absolutely amazingly. But before we get into the details, a quick little side note. I have some channel news to share with you at the end, so stick around for that if you're interested. Okay, so here are the specs. In a size large, they weighed in at 291 grams. The neoprene is 5 millimeters thick throughout and includes a waterproof nylon lamination on the outside and inside. The stitching along the seams are robust and quite durable. There's also a small reflective patch on the front which is a really nice touch. Regarding size and fit, for a size large, the opening measured 8 inches and the mitts are secured in place in two spots using Velcro, making them easy to put on and remove. As for the inside, there's plenty of room to operate your brakes and shift gears. Bar Mitts claims these will work with Shimano, SRAM, and Campy levers and are designed to be used with your gloves on. Regarding how sizing works, each size varies by 1 inch at the opening. So taking mine as an example, the large measured 8 inches, so subtract 1 inch for the medium and add 1 for the extra large. These measurements are based on girth rather than hand size, meaning if you wear really thick gloves then you probably want to opt for the larger sizes. There's also an extreme version that comes with a fleece lining, cuffs, and zipper ventilation, but I've never seen or used one so I really can't speak to the quality or durability on that. It's also important to note, I have the internally routed cable option, but they have versions for externally routed cables as well as aero bars and straight bars. Okay, so now that you have the specs, here are my likes. There are a few pieces of gear that are absolutely crucial to making riding in the cold tolerable and some may even argue enjoyable. One is having the right kit including head and eyewear. Two is finding the right shoes, and third, for me at least, are these bar mitts. Most of the time, if the temps are around the freezing mark, I can get away with wearing some thick gloves, but when the temps drop down into the low 20s and the teens, that's when I have to bust out the bar mitts. I love how effective these have been at keeping my hands warm. The neoprene on the inside does a great job at insulating your hands and circulating the heat. The nylon coating on the outside blocks the wind, and on a road bike, that makes a huge difference. Now I know what you're thinking, but Sage, doesn't all the heat just escape out of the opening? Well, actually it doesn't. At 11 inches long, your hand is buried deep inside the mitt. Most of the hole will be filled up with the sleeves of your jacket, and don't forget, you're still wearing gloves on the inside, so even if you do have some heat loss, you'll be fine. And speaking of gloves, you'll probably want to do some experimenting to see which ones work best for you, but I find the mitts are so effective that a simple pair of fall gloves works best for me. The large opening makes it easy to slide your hand in and out, and the thick sidewalls of the fabric means it doesn't lose its shape when your hands aren't in it. Whether you like to sit and spin or stand up on the pedals, these mitts never seem to get in the way or hinder any movements. But perhaps the best part is how easy it is to install and remove. To install the bar mitts, first undo the two velcro straps. Then make sure the bar mitts logo is facing out and simply slide the mitt over your drops past your hoods. Look for the end of the drops to come through the bottom of the mitt. Slide it up about 2 or 3 inches from the end and secure the velcro strap tightly. At the top, your handlebar should stick out through the mitt toward your stem. Take the velcro and sandwich the two halves together. If you stick your hand in and you're having trouble getting to the brake and shift levers, then undo the velcro strap at the bottom and shift the whole mitt up or down until you get the desired fit. If the mitts are installed too low, you won't get much coverage and if you slide them up too far, they'll begin to push on your brake levers. Okay, so what are the downsides? Well, I only have two and they're both minor for my use case. The first is with the mitts installed, you can only ride on the hoods of your handlebars. The way these are designed makes the lower part of your drops almost unusable and while you can still ride the flats, they're not covered by your mitts so your hands will be unprotected but more importantly, you won't have quick access to your brakes so it could be unsafe. Since my rides in the bitter cold only last about an hour so riding solely on the hoods is no big deal for me. The second is, Bar Mitts claims that the nylon casing is waterproof, but I found this not to be accurate. Yeah, it'll shed off some light beads of water, but if snow sits on the casing, it'll eventually get soaked in. For me, I don't ride when it's actively snowing, so this is a non-issue. But for super hardcore folks, this could be a problem. Now, full disclosure, I have had mine for six years, so it might be that the waterproofing has simply just worn off, and an easy fix might be to reapply some waterproofing. But that's it for my dislikes, so how much will the bar mitts set you back? Well, at $55 to $60, these are a great price, and seeing that they'll last you a long time, they're a smart investment. If you're interested in buying them, I'll leave a link to my affiliate link below. It won't cost you anything extra, but it helps me to continue to make these reviews. Sure, the outside has its challenges, but I love being able to take in that sun and get that fresh air. As you probably already know, the key to riding in bitter cold temps comes down to having the right gear. And for most folks, trying to keep your extremities like your hands and your feet warm is the hardest part. 
So get yourself a good pair of winter shoes and try out these mitts. They're ridiculously effective at keeping the wind at bay and holding in the heat. And seeing that I've had mine for six years, I can totally vouch for the durability and comfort. So if you're like me and you can't stand working out on an indoor trainer when it gets cold, then consider getting yourself some bar mitts. Well, that does it for this review. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Some people might mistake us for professionals. Oh shoot, I have it adjusted for my... Uh, okay, Clifford George. Nope, I missed the lever. Oh, it's stuck. What do you think? I think I haven't had this much fun in a long time. If you're still here, thanks for sticking around. I recently launched my online shop where you can find shirts like this and some other swag. If you're interested in any of the gear or you just want to support the channel, go to my website trail-sage.com and click on the trail swag button at the top. All items were designed by me and all sales go back into my channel, which helps me to continue to make these reviews and videos. Thanks again to all my friends and followers. I look forward to creating better content in the future and learning and growing more as a creator and all your feedback and support makes it all possible. So thanks for sticking with me and thanks for watching.